Here we go. You know there's always going to be trouble when the three of us show up at Castle Park. <laughs> We've got Jen and Eugene here today, and we're at Castle Park to celebrate Mardi Gras and to try all the limited time Mardi Gras food. So this event at Castle Park, brand new this year, runs today, February 11th through March 26th. Saturdays and Sundays, there's gonna be a parade. There is a tasting card of limited time Mardi Gras themed food like uh, gumbo, red beans and rice. And what desserts? Uh, there is a Bananas Foster funnel cake. There's Duke's King Cake funnel cake, all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna try that all today, get on a few rides, see the parade. And I'm gonna make Jen wear all these ridiculous <laughs> dollar store Mardi Gras items that I bought. I don't, can you wear masks in the park like this? I don't know if they'll let us wear them, but we could do it for a quick photo. There you go. <laughs> Part of the Mardi Gras event is a full menu of Mardi Gras themed foods and they are offering tasting cards. You can buy a three punch tasting card or seven punch tasting card and there are seven different options available. They include a variety of savory and sweet items. The savory items are available here inside Big Al's Big Top Barbecue and then the other ones, the desserts are over at Duke's Frying Factory. So they just opened, the park just opened a few minutes ago. We're inside, we're gonna try these foods and show you what they're like. They look really good. So we're gonna try everything today in funnel cake vlog fashion, we have to eat everything. And as I'm doing this, Jen is literally shoving a chicken tender in her mouth. Not very Mardi Gras, but they look actually really good. I almost stole one while she wasn't looking. But here is the shrimp po' boy. Looks really good. It's got a little baby shrimp on there, deep fried with some coleslaw. And all this was made fresh when we ordered anything we've ever had here, whether it be during Castle Dark or La Cena de los Muertos or during Duke's Very Merry Village, everything is always really good. And I wish you could see Jen eating these chicken tenders. So that is the shrimp po' boy. And then we have, I believe it is the shrimp and grit, uh, shrimp and sausage gumbo. Shrimp and sausage gumbo right here. <laughs> that looks good. And this I know for a fact is red beans and rice. That, that one's an easy one. And now she's trying to get Eugene to eat the chicken tender off the fork that she's eating off of. For health and safety reasons, we recommend you not share utensils or food. And then last but not least here from the barbecue is hush puppies. So we're going to divide this all up. Eugene is hysterical laughing. We've divided all this up to try it. Eugene has tried the hush puppy. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really good. Let me try it now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm. I'm not usually a huge fan of hush puppies, but these are really tasty and flavorful, aren't they? They're really good. Mm, they're really good. Next up is the gumbo. Okay, let me try the shrimp. The shrimp are perfectly cooked, but the, is that a roux, is that what they call it? The roux that the gumbo is in? Got a really good spice. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is good. That's uh, good. It's got a little bit of a kick, doesn't it? It does. I <laughs> but love it my is spice. Tasty. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good, yum. <laughs> Next up, the red beans and rice, and I actually mixed it in with the roux from the gumbo. So far, so good. We have the po' boy left, and we have three desserts. I know at one o'clock, Duke is coming out, King Duke, and I'm, I'm, oh, oh my gosh, there he is. He's actually there right now. Let me go. Again, Eugene and I are splitting the po' boy, and uh, so I'm just gonna eat the shrimp. It's got a spicy ramelot on it, spicy coleslaw. The bread is fresh. Let me try these shrimp again. This is a really good sandwich, too. If there were any complaint at all, which it certainly isn't about the food, is I want more of all of it. <laughs> You know what time it is. <laughs> time to meet King Duke. Duke, happy Mardi Gras, the first official Mardi Gras. To hear you have a parade too. We're very excited about your parade at three o'clock. We'll be there 10 at five, three and five. Uh, and I'm gonna yell a little bit because the music is really loud behind us. We've got beignets, which look absolutely amazing. That's two orders, I believe. And then we've got the King Duke funnel cake. And then we've got the Bananas Foster's Funnel Cake, which looks really, really good. That is a beautiful presentation on that. Two full bananas, and that looks amazing with two huge... I thought those were bao, but they're actually scoops of ice cream. <laughs> so we're definitely looking forward to digging into this. Wow. Flaky and fluffy. Not like poofy, 
They're flaky and fluffy. Which didn't you have two dogs named Flaky and Fluffy when you were little? I guess we'll find out if this is copyrighted music. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick it up and eat it this way. <laughs> Everybody always tells me that I eat with my mouth open, so I'm trying to chew. And I had oral surgery this week, and I actually have stitches in my tongue. So I'm trying to eat softly and not uh, stick my tongue out. <laughs> funnel cake review. On the Duke's funnel cake, I really like the frosting, but I really like the ice cream and the bananas on the Bananas Foster. So if there was a way, I don't know if you can, but... Buy both. Make, yeah, buy, get both and mix them up yourself. Yes. Then you can do whatever you want with it then. This one came from Hershey Park and features 52 animals. And it's indoors. Very, very cool. So excited to ride. Mine doesn't work. So we went to the arcade and got nachos, popcorn, and ices. And I want to say a huge shout out to Darian and Nathan working in the arcade. They watch the channel. So thank you. <laughs> nice meeting you guys.
we can't even see out of these masks. <laughs> we were given them. <laughs> Maybe they just didn't want to see our faces anymore. I think that's what they <laughs> had nothing to do with Mardi Gras. They just didn't want to look at us anymore. So we just watched the uh, cavalcade. The what? The cavalcade. <laughs> it's a, like a, a small parade. That's what a cavalcade is. But it's a big parade. Uh, yeah, but they call it a cavalcade. Either way, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It was, it was a lot of fun. It was very high energy, a lot of good music, dancing. The performers were great. They really uh, involved the kids, too. There was, uh, yeah, it was a conga line. Uh, uh, a limbo. Yep. And Duke was dancing. So that was the 3 o'clock cavalcade. There was a 5 o'clock cavalcade. Uh, I know I lost my train of thought. Oh, so there's supposed to be lights, and it's supposed to be even more upbeat and interactive for the 5 o'clock. Then after the five o'clock here in the pavilion, there is a little dance party, and there is a fortune teller, and there is slime that you can make. You can make your own Mardi Gras mask. Okay, let's go watch the second cavalcade. <laughs> cavalcade. Kevin. We were heading out and Eugene's like, we parked over there. I'm like, no, but I'm going over there to take a picture of the Statue of Liberty. Why else would we be walking in the middle of the parking lot? That was a lot of fun. Did you guys have a really good time? It did, absolutely. <laughs> Come down here. Hang on. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Huge props to the whole staff. Joseph, that was a great performance. We had a really good time. Mandy, Sandra, everything was really fun. We love coming to Castle Park. This is a really uncomfortable position. <laughs> There we go. I can't help. I'm taller than everybody. Uh, always put on a good show here. We always have a lot of fun when we come to Castle Park. Uh, they added this Mardi Gras event, and they were telling us that there's more to come. So hopefully yeah, we'll, good, be back. we'll be back. Good time to buy an annual pass here to Castle Park because they have a bunch of stuff planned for the year, including Castle Dark. It's their anniversary, 15th anniversary. They have Duke's Very Merry Village at the end of the year, and then some other surprises that we can't share with you yet, but you'll definitely want to check out Castle Park throughout the year. So thank you again to having us out here. Everybody have fun. Yes. Uh, that is it. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up or a big beignet up. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> follow us on social media if you're not already subscribed. And no, what did I say? No. Follow, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and follow us on social media at the Funnel Cake Blog. Right. All right. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. I 
apparently didn't make any attempt to park properly in this parking space. 